Hello and welcome to episode 6 of UK NBA. I'm Ryan Hilbert. And I'm Peter Wells. Firstly, we'd like to apologise for the lateness of this video as my fellow colleague Peter was ill last week. Yeah, the man flew. Uh, just a bit of a chat today about the new format that we've got because we've been doing the videos the last five episodes. Mm. We've been The duration has been somewhere between 20 and 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, but we decided to shake things up a little bit and you want to explain what we're going to do? So we're basically going to do um, separate videos. So they're going to be shorter videos, probably about five to ten minutes, depending on how long the topic is. They're basically different topics. This week we've got six to go mm. through. Um, we're going to be looking at on this part, the first part of the latest news and I'll look back at last week. And then to check out the other videos, there's plenty of stuff, including looking at the Raptors and the Grizzlies, the two top teams in their conferences. Also, who's the contenders and who are the pretenders? They're not not the band, the pretenders. No. We're not talking about I will walk 100 or 500 <laughs> miles. And then we're going to have a look at OKC with Russell. Russell Westbrook is back and KD is soon to return. And then we'll be looking at the key matchups and predictions. Questions. And not to mention question, question time. Question time. We've got yes, that. we've finally, finally, finally pulled our finger out. Oh, yeah. We've finally done it. And uh, finally will be the team of the week, so stick around for that, check out all of the videos and you'll find all of them right there. So let's get cracking on with the news then, right as well. So what is the latest news? From well, the uh, Kobe weeks? Bryant has reached 32,000 career points, how impressive is that? Yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago, that was uh, obviously something we had talked about last week, so that's an impressive um, uh, stat, but no surprise for Kobe Bryant who puts points up and has obviously increased that by even more in the last few weeks. And really, at the moment, his team, the LA Lakers, although they won yeah. last week, um, but they're still they're still struggling. Still I would struggling say struggling bottom of the conference. Uh, it seems to be the, a player that perhaps if loyalty wasn't sort mm. of helping his swaying his decision, he would have probably yeah. left by now. Yeah, certainly. Obviously, the Lakers. But, him, but his yeah. loyalty to yeah. the Lakers reigns supreme, certainly. and we have to commend him for that. Yeah. Uh, um, yes, uh, sports injury. Um, this came off sportsfeedmedia.com. Uh, Fan sided reported that the Rockets' is Bill Worrell and said Terrence Jones may be out for another month during the game against the Grizzlies, and that's with a leg injury. Yeah, obviously that's another blow for them, so that's probably now down to about two, probably three weeks now before Terrence Jones is back. That's a blow because we've had no Dwight Howard for the last couple of weeks. Well, that's the thing, I mean, it's a regular feature of UK NBA, us talking about these injuries, injuries yeah. um, piling up on teams, yeah. and... Um, yeah. Hopefully he can get back healthy and fit as quick mm -hmm. as possible. Yep. So uh, after the game, Gibson said X-rays taken on the ankle were negative. Uh, he came back into the Bulls' locker room on crutches and in a walking boot. Gibson said it was the same ankle he has had problems with over the past couple of seasons, and the same one he injured in the Bulls' home opener on October 31 against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. uh, Gibson said there is no timetable right now for his return. He just said it's too early. Yeah, um, obviously this is Todd Gibson and Chicago Bulls uh, suffered a sprained ankle, um, I mean, two weeks ago now, just over, well, just over a week ago, actually, um, in that loss to the Trailblazers, obviously didn't return, and there he's currently out at the moment, obviously a great player off the bench, and um, obviously quite a miss for um, the uh, Chicago Bulls, probably more long-term, he's suffered these injuries. Yeah, times. Um, and it's a recurrence of that injury, exactly, had it on yes. numerous occasions, and you would think that it's something that's probably going to plague him throughout yeah, his career. Exactly, it's a tough one to uh, to deal with, as you said there, he suffered at the beginning of the season as well. He's had it a few times, so, well yeah, so the same injury in the space, in a sh yeah. short space of time, he's probably a bit concerned. It's not exactly um, an injury that's gone away completely, obviously didn't play last night either, but they've been doing pretty well though to him anyway, they've still got plenty of scoring there from Paul Gasol. Who's back and Derek Rose is finally back into the fray. After we talked about him quite a bit. We did, we've mentioned him quite a few times, haven't we? So mm, yeah. Another injury, yeah. Um so yeah, it's well, it's a step forward and two steps back for the Indiana Pacers. Mm. Um they received some positive news regarding CJ Mills. Uh but he suffered two more they've suffered two more injuries in tonight's blowout loss to the Phoenix Suns. Uh, with Roy Hibbert, he exited halfway into the first quarter uh, that with a potential sprained left ankle. And um, the, Hibbert would return, but didn't look capable of playing, leaving in the second quarter for the duration of the game. And Rodney Stuckey, 
He also suffered a sprained left wrist in the fourth quarter, falling over a cameraman. Mm. Uh, again, yeah, we had the cameraman's debate yeah. um, last time on the weeks, show. Oh, yeah. It's it's come up again. Oh, yeah. um, something's got to be done. I mean, I'll sound like a broken record, yeah. saying the same thing over and over again. But it, yeah, it's yet another injury. It's a sprained wrist. It could have been a broken hand, broken yeah, leg, yeah. concussion. It could have been anything. I mean, what, yeah, when are they yeah. going to move these cameras? It's one of them questions you've got to keep asking. I say this is another injury, two injuries in a couple of weeks, uh, and obviously this was a couple of weeks ago as well. So. This was not long after the James Johnson injury. So, so it's two incidents very close very together, close of course, together, because we yeah. missed an episode of UK yeah. NBA. But well, it's the same, same debate time yeah. and time again. And uh, we did we talked about it extensively yeah, in uh, episode five. So please do go and check that out. Yeah, so there's plenty to talk about there. And obviously another tough injury for Pacers. But Pacers aren't doing too bad, obviously. Still, that depth is really going to hurt them later in the season, certainly. Uh, the New Orleans Pelicans announced today that guard Eric Gordon will be out indefinitely with a left shoulder injury. Uh, an MRI scan has been performed and it revealed that Gordon suffered a torn labrum. I'm not entirely yeah. sure what that is. You obviously, right? no, not, not, but obviously not, not, a, medi- not a medical, medical expert. No. But uh, he suffered a torn lab- labrum as a result of the left shoulder sublocation injury that occurred Saturday night at Utah. Yeah, again, a couple of weeks ago, this is from the 24th of November, and again, obviously, Eric Gordon's not returned yet, and um, can't really get an idea, it's hard to get an idea, because I don't like to reveal much to teams, um, mm. they're saying indefinitely, they're but saying, indef- what does indefinitely mean, I mean, exactly. it definitely means no sort of time scale on yeah. it, out for the foreseeable future, but even that's a little bit woolly, I mean, is it yeah. a month, two months, three months? Exactly, yeah, and obviously, they keep saying, you know, he's not going to be playing these games questionable for that game, but... Where and then you find him turning up on the court. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's a tactic. Let, let the, yeah. Other teams all think that one of their best players is out yeah. injured. Um, it'll be great news for the opposition at the plane. And then just at the last second, yeah. sucker punch, they're in the team. In the team, And yeah. they have a plan for it. We'll have to see anyway. It does seem a bad injury, obviously, in the shoulder. That's a bad injury. And from what I'm gathering, it could be a long-term injury for Eric Gordon. It's going to be tough for him. A long-term injury here for Kevin Martin as well. Yeah, he's um, undergoing surgery and he's set to miss six to eight weeks. And of course, Kevin Martin plays for the Timberwolves. Um, he'll undergo surgery due to a fractured hand. Um, yeah, six to eight weeks. That's according to Darren Wolfson. Yeah, that's a very tough injury. Obviously, he's been playing amazingly for the Timberwolves. Uh, well, it, and again, it's just at the wrong time of the season. Yeah, just when you're um, to ju- get. Ju- Just when the, the Timberwolves are starting to gain momentum. Yeah. Just at that time, that one of their players, one of their good players, I wouldn't yeah. necessarily say star players, no, but he's up there. But, but he's up there. Um, and it's a blow. Yeah, he's the type of guy that will get a lot of points for you. He'll have a game where he can't get over 10 points, and then he'll have a game where he shoots up to over 30. Uh, that's the type of player he is, and they're uh, obviously going to miss that scoring. Um, and obviously, that's going to be a tough blow for a, a team like the Timberwolves. Uh, played amazing the last few years at. Um, Oklahoma City Thunder playing amazing at the Timberwolves, and like we say, that's a, that's a massive blow. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully he uh, is back in that time frame. Makes a, a quick return, yeah. Yeah, uh, the Toronto Raptors expect to lose guard Demar Derozan for about a month after he tore a tendon in his groin. Uh, a league source told Yahoo Sports. The Raptors will have a more definitive timeline for DeRozan's recovery period after DeRozan is re-examined in a week. Uh, the players suffered the injury during the third quarter of Friday night's 106 to 102 loss to the Dallas Mavericks when he slipped to the floor on the drive to the basket. Yeah. I saw it; it looked painful. It was a nasty one. Yeah, and you couldn't really <coughs> tell straight away what kind of injury it was. He was a bit worried straight away. It was yeah. his knee because uh, he went down a bit funny, but obviously it was his groin. Which isn't as bad generally as it's, a knee injury. Well, because a knee injury is more repetitive. Yeah, you exactly. Become, you, you get one knee injury. You know, a tendon injury. You're then. likely to get a couple more in your career. But, yeah. So it's not as bad as first th- feared. Yeah. But still a month. A month's going to be a huge blow. And obviously we know they've lost two in a row now, the Raptors, which is um, evidence yeah. that they're going to miss the Mardro. They're still top of their conference at the minute. Yeah. Of course, we'll go through the tables later. Yeah, and we'll have a look at their chances now. But obviously that's a huge blow um, for such a star player to uh, suffer such a big injury and that's going to be a tough month without him yeah but 
We mentioned uh, Kevin Martin's yeah, injury exactly. a minute ago for the Timberwolves, uh, but positive news for the Timberwolves is that they've signed Jeff Adrian. Mm. Uh, the banged up Minnesota Timberwolves are going to get a little help finally, and you yeah. think they need it because they really they do. do yeah. uh, the Timberwolves signed free agent forward Jeff Adrian on Saturday to add some much needed depth to a rost- roster decimated by injuries. Really, is a, yeah. everybody's out, been out exactly. at one stage or the other. It's really tough, and obviously they've got to add to that um, to really add to the bench, uh, help the likes of Andrew Wiggins. Uh, Pekovic who's been injured himself Yeah. Mohamed who's coming off the bench doing quite well so there's several players that need that bit of help Adrian's uh, a veteran player um, played at plenty of teams always done his little bit you know with rebounds blocks defensive mm. work this might be a, a debate to have on another episode because mm. of the timing obviously but yeah. um, why isn't Mohamed starting for the Timberwolves I mean yeah. it looks to be a, yeah, he did an, really a decision well to make that. it seems to be a simple yeah. equation but at the moment, off the bench. Yeah, sometimes it does happen like you get key players and they'll actually come off the bench even though they're doing very well. Um, maybe it's just a tactical ploy to uh, you play more minutes off the bench. We've seen that with the Miami Heat. Mario Chalmers now plays off the bench mm-hmm. and he actually plays more minutes than he used to. So yeah. sometimes it can work like that. But, um, you know, maybe sometimes they do need that start with the scoring that he can provide just lately. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, you need sometimes it helps to get off to, get off to the good start. a quick start. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'll see how it goes for them. A couple of little bits here as well. Yeah, Russell Westbrook returns for the Thunder and David West yeah. returns for the Pacers. That's Oklahoma Thunder and the Indiana Pacers. And obviously we know them are two big. Two big players for their team. So that's... Brilliant news for them, yeah. especially when a, a bit of dipping form for OKC. I yeah. mean, they, they um, horrible start. Yeah, yeah, it was a terrible start. Kind of picked it up a bit in terms of performances, not necessarily yeah. the results. Mm-hmm. Um, but that'll be a, a massive, you know, yeah. aid for them. Massive yeah. help. Well, I'll just run you through a quick few results. Obviously, we look at the key matchups, and we rarely bring in results from them. So I'll yeah, why, do we, why, why don't we? <laughs> no, but um, Cleveland Cavaliers had a really good week, a couple of blowouts, including a massive one over the Magic. Um, no win still for Philly. No, it got the, that, that dreadful run goes on. And yeah. uh, I saw an interview with their coach, and he was saying that he believes that despite the fact that they're not getting the results, he's seen a, a, a marked improvement in team yeah, spirit certainly. and in togetherness. Um, but I'm afraid, Mr. Philadelphia 76 a coach, that um, if you're not getting the results, you can have all the team spirit in the world, can't it's you? It's not going to help you, and it's not helping at the moment. Raptors got a good win over the Suns. They've had a pretty bad week, the Phoenix oh, Suns. Yeah. Um, look for them all. The Hawks winning in Washington, which was a big win. And bad news a bit here for Pete. The Golden yeah. State Warriors won with 14, Miami 97. Yeah, that was a bad defeat. The Bucks carry on the good form. Pistons on a really bad run at the moment. Yeah, down, sliding down that conference. Yeah. Uh, Denver Nuggets playing well again, beating the Chicago Bulls in the week. A um, couple of big games here. Cavaliers getting revenge on the Wizards in emphatic fashion. That's what we like to see. Um, Warriors carrying on their road trip in style, winning again. Um, again, a, a couple more. 115 to 126, the Raptors winning Atlanta. But obviously, the week ended on a bad note for them. Uh, Spurs on a good run as well at the moment. And a good win there for the Rockets, who are looking impressive again. 102 89 over the Kings. Uh, also, the Grizzlies looking in fine form as usual. No, no games, no games on Thursday, Thursday because of Thanksgiving, but there's plenty on Friday, and yeah, they included wins for the Mavericks in Toronto. Big win there. Massive win. A huge win for the Clippers, getting that victory of a blowout over the Houston Rockets in Houston. Again, impressive. 102-85 was the final score. Yeah, Russell Westbrook returned for OKC, had a massive game, and 105-78, uh, they won that game. Against the New York Knicks. Yeah, and like we said, the Suns had a terrible week, another defeat there to the Nuggets. The Spurs getting revenge on a DeMarcus Cousin list, mm. uh, Sacramento Kings. Uh, and Mentioned him last week, didn't we? About, yeah, well, the last time he's been doing on the show, the transformation. Yeah, a couple um games out injured, uh, well, with a virus, apparently. Uh, and there the Grizzlies just carry on their terrific form, 112.99. Can't complain about that. Uh, a couple more blowout wins here for the um, Houston Rockets again back on the uh, back on the horse. Hornets getting blown out by the Hawks, who are an impressive run at the moment. 
And last night, the Lakers got a good win in overtime, didn't they? Yeah. On 29. What, what a win. And yeah. uh, especially Toronto Raptors really yeah. were all the pace setters of that yeah, division. Yeah, conference. Yeah. Um, with Los Angeles being near the bottom. Yeah. Um, it's a fantastic win. 1-2-9, one, 1-2-2. Two, nine, one, two, two. Certainly, right certainly. And uh, as you can see, another win for the Memphis Grizzlies, who are just absolutely on fire at the How moment. many times do we say that? It's all but twice this season. All but twice. And so uh, there you, go. you know, there were few and far between those two defeats. One of those, I believe, was to the Raptors. So mm. they've been fantastic. There they are, sitting pretty at 15 and 2. Yeah, but don't get too much into that detail because that's coming no. up in another part of the show. Yes. And I believe that is the end of part one. Yeah, that is it. So part, part two, view that. Yeah. See you in a minute. Yeah.